Okay, hello and back again from the Mission Control Center in Innsbruck. Um, now we have a direct connection to the analog astronaut uh, Daniel in the suit. And uh, yeah, I'm so Daniel, Daniel. Yes. how does it how feel do to be in the suit and suit can you tell us a little bit about, about being an analog, analog astronaut analog and past missions? Okay, um, in the moment it's quite comfortable because I'm in a sitting position, but normally it's really warm inside and it's very exhausting when you do some stuff like experiments. Uh, um, yeah, the last mission that we did mission that we had was the Morocco mission, Mars 30. It was a very cool, um, cool, uh, cool mission. We were one month in Morocco and did a lot of very exciting experiment there. So we drove with quads and do some geosampling experiments and do some delta experiments. A lot of quite interesting experiments. It was an international mission, so we had participants from all over the world. And yeah, it's quite an honor for me to be an analog astronaut, to represent the AWF in form as an analog astronaut. And yeah, it's very cool. Um, yeah, we have a special certificate to be an analog astronaut, so we have to do some um, tests in geologic, in, in geolog geolog geology, <laughs> in, um, in physics, in astrophysics astrobiology and so on. So we all know what we have to do here inside. It's quite hard work, but it's a lot of fun as well. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, uh, great it's great to hear. To hear. Um, um, so, so, so what Oliver told, told me, you're an analog astronaut, astronaut since, since officially, officially since 2012, 2012 well, but, but I think I you've been one of the one most, most experienced, experienced ones, ones now. now. It's, it's the truth. truth. Yeah, that's true. So I'm officially an analog astronaut since 2012, that's right. But before I was an analog suit tester, and that starts 2009. So we also did a lot of experiments before I was an analog astronaut. And yeah, and I think since yet I have 120 hours in the suit, approximately. And yeah, that's quite a lot. Oh, the, the 120, 120 hours. hours. Sounds, sounds a lot, a lot yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's, it's uh, I, guess I guess it's a lot of hard work to be in the suit all day. Um, and I heard that usually the missions last like six or seven hours in the suit. Um, how does that feel? And uh, how can you still do work after a whole day in the suit? Yeah, it's not a continuous work for six hours. So I have a lot of breaks between experiments. So, for example, one experiment. I need one hour or half an hour, then I have 10 minutes break, and this way it's okay and that's fine, and I can survive six hours or more in the suit. Okay, okay. okay. so, so, so every, every, every person needs a break, and the man allows astronauts are allowed to have a break. That's great. great. <laughs> um, um, can you tell us? Um, I don't know, is there anything you wish to tell us? <laughs> Um, maybe hello here from Innsbruck. Um, it's a great thing, uh, World Space Week. I'm very proud to be here and to talk with you. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I can say now. <laughs> okay, so, so you, you've, you've been, been doing this for four, four years, years now, now as an analog, analog suit tester and analog, analog astronaut, um, uh, and it's, and still, it's fun. still fun. Yeah, that's right. It's really exciting. It's every time it's some new stuff that I had to do. It's not always the same. It's a lot of quite different experiments, and that makes it very, uh, very cool and very uh, fun to do that. So it's not all the time the same. So it's it's different stuff. So it's, so it's worth, worth the time, the time because, because you you like you everybody, everybody else, else you're a volunteer doing, doing this. So it's, it's not, not your not job, job astronaut or analog right, astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> That's a volunteer job, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which is a Which great is thing a great to do thing. this as a volunteer, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so it's worth it to have the chance to do that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so, so I think we just, think uh, just uh, wrap uh, this up. Wrap We've got a nice introduction to being, being an analog astronaut and, and what you do. What you do. Um, um, because it's World Space Week, Space Week, do you have, do you have um, uh, any, any message for the people out there? Like, yeah, like you know. Le keep, keep learning, learning or something like this, like, like an inspirational, inspirational message. message. <laughs> um, yes, um, 
I'm a scientist as well, so I study in physics and material science. So it's a quite fun to do some stuff in science, and though it's very important to do some event like this, the World Space Week, um, to to see that for young people, that's a lot of fun what they can do in space. So everyone has a chance to be maybe an astronaut when when they're fun and when they like to do that. And yeah, it's worth to do something like that. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. Thank, Thank you for, for your time. time. Um, uh, a lot of luck for, for the future and uh, the future missions. missions. Uh, and it was fun talking, talking to you. you. So, so with this, this uh, I, would I would like to say goodbye also to, your to, our, to our audience. Yes. And uh, yes. uh, wish you sure, a very sure. nice day from the Mission Control Center in Innsbruck. Goodbye. Over. Goodbye. Thank you very much.